Hello, before we get started, I'd like to uh, pay respect to those that uh, came before us on the land that we're discussing around Kunawara. The Bagana Ditch uh, people are the traditional owners of the land, and, uh, and I want to pay my respects to them. It would also be remiss of me, not as we're talking about wine production, not to uh, not to mention uh, Scottish settler John Riddick, who uh, came to the region in the 1900s and uh, you know, commenced his first vineyard in 1891. Good afternoon, my name is Brad Starr, uh, and I'm here to present the uh, brief of the Strategic Marketing Plan 2025 for the Brick of Kunawara. Now, as part of the brief, I am going to be covering four key areas, the uh, macro environment, uh, I'm going to be talking about the budget and its objectives, I'm going to be talking about the tools that uh, we'll be utilising um, uh, as, you know, as a result of having that budget, and then we're going to be talking about our mark, target market area in a segment, and then we'll talk about uh, how do we implement, how do we execute on a marketing plan, we're going to talk about you know, uh, four key areas such as product, price, place, and uh, and promotion. So let me get into uh, the macro area first. I think it's pretty clear that we are now living in uh, medium to uh, uh, to high inflation, um, and the, you know the uncertain economic times around us. And so, you know, this medium to high inflation means we've got. Um, uh, reasonable increase in, in wages costs. High fuel costs means we've got higher supply chain costs. And the general operational um, costs for the business are, are growing around about 4% year on year. And according to the RBA, this means we, you know, the RBA has mentioned that, uh, you know, economic uncertainty is, is likely to be that case for the next, next 12 months. Um, now, why is this important? I think it's important because uh, it impacts people's ability to purchase luxury goods, such as uh, travel and, and, and potentially alcohol, um, along with other uh, luxury items. Uh, just means that their wallet spend or the, the, the amount of money they have after they take home is, you know, and, and all their expenses is a lot less than, than it used to be, especially with higher mortgage costs. I think... Um, the good news, though, the positive outlook for macro outlook for for the wine um, industry and and for the Barack of uh, Kunawara is that uh, you know we're seeing that despite inflation, our our target market are searching for holistic holiday experiences, and according to Wine Australia, this has resulted in uh, you know increases in wine region holidays, um, and we can take you know that's an opportunity for Barack. To, um, to capitalise on this, we have a great picturesque environment. We offer an immersive wine tasting experience, um, you know, and we can uh, collaborate with other local producers uh, to provide a holistic experience with other activities, if you like. I guess on top of that, uh, and it's worth mentioning that the um, geopolitical tensions in the region between Australia and China in particular have reduced somewhat, um, and we've seen a reduction in tariffs, uh, and we've seen an increase in visitors uh, who are, who are uh, looking for wines you know, of the sweeter nature, which is uh, close to our, our region. Um, so yeah, very good, uh, uh, good uh, and positive outcomes from a macro perspective uh, at this stage. Let's consider the budget. I think uh, it's important to identify for the first time in, I would say, two years, uh, we've got a marketing budget. Uh, at least since COVID, uh, we've increased this um, to twenty thousand dollars. This is a fixed cost, um, and we're looking to use this uh, twenty thousand uh, dollars to produce a forty-three percent increase in our in our net profit. Uh, in terms of tools, we're going to be leveraging Google AdWords to increase our online presence and promote our online booking systems, uh, and, and and ideally grow. Uh, customers between 11.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. as other customers move off to uh, other producers in the region um, and, and visit those, those producers. Uh, in addition to that, we're also looking to increase our presence in social media, uh, and we'll do that in channels such as Instagram, 
and Facebook for the domestic market. And we will uh, leverage some, uh, WeChat for the Chinese market. Um, we're going to collaborate with influencers uh, such as travel bloggers uh, and uh, who are well known or have great uh, uh, immersive experiences online uh, to attract our target market. Um, uh, the overall objective is to grow our customer base from 16,000 uh, in 2024 to just on 18,909 in 2025. Um, our target market, just to be clear who our target market is, are typically high income Australians. They're wine enthusiasts, they're casual drinkers. Um, you know, they, uh, they're domestic and international visitors uh, and they're seeking premium wine experiences. Um, you know, this segment values high quality wine tactile cellar dollar experiences, along with uh, enjoying the, you know, the uh, picturesque and, uh, you know, the character material of the uh, Kunawara uh, wine region. You know, this, you know, the segment of consults, you know, uh, the segment that we're talking about is somewhat shielded by this economic turbulence I've been highlighting earlier, uh, such as inflation. They have, uh, you know, obviously either own the home or have good equity in the home. They're, they're typically uh, between 30, 40, 50 years old um, and uh, and high income, as I talked about. They are, may even have a connection to the region or, as I mentioned, looking for holistic experience. We also have the opportunity to attract more uh, Chinese uh, visitors and Asian-based visitors as well. Uh, and we'll be doing that through our, our WeChat channels. Now, once you have a plan in place, you need to be able to execute on that plan and, and implement that plan. Uh, and so uh, we're going to be focusing on four key areas, product, price, place, and promotion to do that. Um, in terms of products, we're going to make a maintain our focus on high quality Cabernet Sauvignon and Riesling wines. Now, we will consider the options of, of meeting the Chinese market's preferences. Um, using such as a limited edition um, uh, sweater wine. Uh, yeah. In terms of price, we're based on 2024 volumes, we've increased our fixed cost to $1.25 per uh, unit. Uh, but that said, we need to maintain our competitive without impacting any margins of profits. Um, and so we're going to have to offset that cost. And to do that, we're going to be doing that by selling an additional 2,909 units in 2025. Uh, we also need to consider the price of any new um, uh, product that we introduce to the market as well, uh, and whether that will be, uh, you know, at a premium or at the, uh, you know, at, the, at a market uh, rate. We also need to... Um, Keep an eye on market trends. We have a lot of producers in the region, uh, you know, mass producers in the regions that are driving down costs. So again, uh, we we need to think about um, what the market trends are and uh, and be flexible enough to uh, to meet the needs and and changes in that market. In terms of uh, place and availability, um, you know, the winery is a secret source to our success. We have great customer experiences here and reviews, and we need to maintain that. Uh, and, and the picturesque nature and location, immersive cellar door experiences, just add to that um, and, and, and our inputs to that. But we also need to increase our availability um, online uh, to drive our brand, to increase uh, new visitors and new customers. We need to uh, implement a new online booking system and we must engage in social media channels such as WeChat, Instagram, uh, to meet uh, our, where our target audience are. Uh, in terms of promotions, we need to be offering a, a limited time promotions and events to attract repeat visits and new customers. And a good way to do that, I think, at a low cost base, would be to uh, collaborate with other producers uh, that you know, maybe offer a unique experience with cheeses, meat, wine, um, uh, to, to, uh, to attract other visitors who may not be necessarily focused on the wine per se, but maybe other on those other, uh, you know, things such as the meat and the cheese that come back to the wine and, uh, and, and become new customers of ours. 
Again, the $20,000 in advertising is uh, very much focused on cost effectiveness. And we're gonna be using those uh, online tools, uh, Google AdWords to, to increase our availability. But also, uh, you know, we're gonna be using travel bloggers and influencers with their, you know, their, uh, their presence online, their, their uh, followers online to attract new customers that way as well. And increasing our experience uh, through social media, through increasing our brand through social media, is going to be also uh, offer new promotions uh, through those channels for new customers to come on uh, to to uh, experience our, our 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 region and our wines as well. Um, that's it from a from a a brief in perspective. I really appreciate your feedback and thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.